All right, the auger feeder will be going off in about five minutes. I gotta put something behind it to keep it from getting pushed back. Maybe I'll put this leg tub there. <clears throat> Watch out, Candy. That's perfect. <clears throat> Still gotta clean this place up, but uh, we're making progress. We're making progress. You guys be nice, Callie. <clears throat> so we got Callie, Mimi, Shiner, Tails, Callie, Swirl. Candy. She's the princess. Princess Candy. Yeah. <laughs> she acts like she don't want to be touched, but she really loves affection. This is Mimi. She's a queen bee. She's been here the longest. This is one of the new guys. I'm going to spray his eyeball. His eyes still a little mucusy or boogery. Eye boogery. But he's doing better. Be nice. Callie and Swirl, they're kind of like the bitchy ones. <clears throat> and then, oh, the <clears throat> new black cat, that's his brother. <laughs> so, they get along most of the time, but this guy's the alpha, so he kind of dominates his little brother. So, <clears throat> we got a bunch of new kittens. Oh, we got probably uh, three more minutes. <clears throat> uh, most of the adults are here. Um, we only got two more, three more adults that are not here. <laughs> uh, Fluffy and Donna and Mickey. <clears throat> and they're basically long hair orange cats. Do uh, Fluffy's an orange and white. But uh, Swirl's got some babies. I'm not sure where they are or how many survived. She's got them somewhere. She had like a half dozen. She had the most. <clears throat> and then uh, I adopted some new kittens from my niece. Callie had like two babies. And I adopted these two black cats from the local herb shop lady and um, butler <clears throat> and um, I think Candy had some babies Fluffy had some babies Fluffy's babies are probably going to be feral half the kittens are going to be feral because I haven't been around to <clears throat> acclimate them but uh, <clears throat> but that's okay I don't mind having some feral ones I try not to have them go feral because um, that way if they need medical attention, I can handle them and get them to the vet. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> if they're feral, then I can't handle them and I can't get them to the vet. So they're less likely to survive unless... <laughs> They just have, um, I guess, a really good immune system or something. So, you ladies need to quit fighting. Be nice. Callie, be nice. Callie and Swirl, they're like antisocial with the other females. But we got three alphas here. Mimi, Swirl, and Callie. <clears throat> so, they're they're going to buck heads. Alright, we're almost to five minutes, so it should be getting close. Let's see what time it is. One minute. 
The auger feeder should go off. So I got it padlocked so coons can't get in there. And there's the keys. That basically goes off every hour. There it goes. <clears throat> so they get a little bit at a time. Of course the alphas are in there. Except for Mimi. <clears throat> but uh, once they get their field, then the other ones will get theirs. You know, in the next hour or so. That's usually, you know, that's the pecking order right there. <clears throat> like I said, Mimi, she's dominant. But she has more of a careless attitude. She says, eh, I'll go hunt for my food. And it'll go off in another hour, I'll get my food then. I'm not, I'm not tripping. I'm not tripping. She'd rather have attention. She's like, you guys can have food. I'll have attention. Yeah. She loves attention. She loves me. She's a good girl. Hey, 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 Callie. <laughs> Look at the kitten. He's like, I don't know what just happened, but I'm just going to pretend like I'm not here. <laughs> Poor thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> but the moms do need to eat because uh, they got to feed their babies. I'm gonna feed their babies, yes. So, in two weeks, I'll be home more and uh, <clears throat> have more time to focus on this cat house, get it finished, get it cleaned up, and figure out what I'm gonna do with all this crap. So, amongst all the other 1,000 things I gotta do. Mimi, you're so precious. Mimi's my precious. Yeah. My precious. Precious. My precious. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, gotta go. I'll see you guys in two weeks. Yes, I'll see you in two weeks. Take this bag out to the burn. Yeah, this is the cat food I feed them most of the time. Uh, this weekend I had to go get something else. <clears throat> but uh, this is primarily what I feed them. So. Yeah. Precious. She got a spot on her ear. I hope it's not ringworm. But I haven't noticed any ringworm problems. Last year we had a ringworm problem. And we lost a lot of our kittens. But it doesn't look like we got a problem this year. <clears throat> One of the cats has a spot on its tail. But that's really the only thing I've seen. So it should be okay. One of the little, new, little black cats. <laughs> Look at tails. He's like... Kelly's picking on tails. She's like, I'm going to eat your food, and then I'm going to eat mine. <laughs> okay. He's supposed to be the alpha. He's scared of her. She's pretty tough for a little cat. <laughs> Look at it. That's so funny. He's like, okay, I'm out of here. She's being mean to me. <clears throat> Is she being mean? Poor thing. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. See you guys later. See you in two weeks. Okay, bye.